the sun. 60 years ago, scientists first proposed a mission to study it. Back then, the technology simply did not exist. It can mitigate it. Now it does. At least, that's the hope. During its seven-year mission, the Parker Solar Probe will orbit the sun two dozen times. Its closest approach within six million kilometers of the surface. That's seven times closer than any spacecraft ever. So why a trip to study the sun? Well, the more we know about it, the better we can understand how life developed here on Earth. And because scientists say the sun does some head scratching stuff. Off the surface in the corona, temperatures are thousands of degrees hotter than on the surface. Laws of physics say that shouldn't happen. And little is known about solar winds that begin as a gentle breeze but zip by Earth at hundreds of kilometers per second. Disturbances in this solar wind, called space weather, can interrupt communications, change the orbits of satellites, and... It creates a hazardous environment for astronauts. And in the most extreme case of these space weather events, it can actually uh, affect our power grids here on the Earth. As the Parker Solar Probe makes its closest approach, the spacecraft's state-of-the-art carbon heat shield must stand up to temperatures of 1,300 degrees Celsius. Onboard sensors keep the heat shield lined up just right. It basically has to always be sensing whether or not uh, the heat shield is in the right position and correct itself if it isn't. Parker will pass through the corona at a stunning 700,000 kilometers per hour. At that speed, you could fly from Washington, D.C. to Tokyo in under one minute. The probe is also carrying a microchip containing more than one million names. Star Trek actor William Shatner promoted the sign-up effort. This summer, we're going to touch the sun. Going to a region of the solar system never before explored, Parker is considered one of the most daring missions of discovery ever undertaken. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.